Hi, I'm Mad Nuff. Get started. Firstly, the new design is a thing to behold. I absolutely love the mini MacBook Pro aesthetic, and it is easily the most satisfying laptop I've ever carried around. I just wish you knew. It gets better the longer you own it, too even the smudges on the midnight version quickly turn into a non-event. They're almost akin to a worn leather patina. The screen is a genuinely pleasant upgrade over the M1 version, too that extra brightness has served me well over the last few weeks with the blistering sun creeping through every available window. Perhaps the most important thing that matters about this laptop, though, is the fact that it feels identical to the M1 MacBook Air in terms of performance. That works for me. I'm not sure how much more powerful this thing needs to get, given its intended user base. However, the most unavoidable aspect of this laptop is its price. It is very expensive, particularly today, and the M1 MacBook Air will remain a thorn in its side until the latter is pulled from the shelf. As mentioned earlier, I've grown to accept the smudges on my midnight M2 MacBook Air. Over time, and far faster than I suspected, they become rather endearing. You have to lean into it because those smudges build up instantly and to the point where carrying a microfiber cloth everywhere becomes futile. My M2 MacBook Air already looks used, loved, and ready for action. For that reason, I'm not going to mention the smudges again. The MacBook Air has and always will be a machine for normal users who have great taste in tech. It's more expensive than most Windows alternatives, but that extra investment delivers oodles of user happiness, and the ability to get through an entire day without your computer throwing up a blue screen. Just wish you knew. Yes, you can use this M2 version to edit videos, write code, and produce music. But people who do that with the MacBook Air are usually hobbyists who aren't working against the clock or for clients. Any performance dips or deficiencies, therefore, do not matter and certainly aren't noticeable, I stand firm on that. If you want a brilliant MacBook Air but you're concerned about the current financial outlook, just grab the M1 version, you won't regret it. The new MacBook Air, from $1,199, tested at $1,899, is a breath of fresh you-know-what, and that's because Apple paired an even faster M2 chip with a design that's markedly thinner and lighter. Carrying this 2.7-pound notebook around and using it, this is a laptop that reminds me of the iconic original Air that Steve Jobs pulled out of a manila envelope all those years ago. The MacBook Air M2 starts at $1,199, which is $200 more than the MacBook Air M1. The starting configuration gives you an 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, 8GB of unified memory and 512GB of storage. This is a premium machine, but those are good specs for the money. Upgrade options include 16GB, $200, or 24GB, $400, of memory, and 1TB, $200, or 2TB, $600, of storage. The MacBook Air M2 is so thin it could easily be mistaken for an iPad when closed, especially if the Apple logo is facing out. That's how slim this notebook is. Measuring just 0.44 inches thick with the lid open, an everyday big pen looks chunky next to this machine. The 2.7-pound all-aluminum chassis delivers a great balance of durability and lightweight, and I appreciate the sleek rounded corners and pronounced lip that makes this laptop easy to hold and open with one hand. If you want to make a statement, I would get the MacBook Air M2 in starlight, pale gold, or midnight, dark blue, but if you're feeling more conservative you can opt for silver or space gray. Just watch out for scratches if you go for the midnight one though, as this particular color can reportedly scuff easily. Apple keeps things minimal with the MacBook Air M2 port selection. You'll find two Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 ports on the left side along with a MagSafe power adapter. The latter connection makes it easy to attach the cable connector magnetically to the system, and it also helps prevent the laptop from falling should someone accidentally tug hard on the cable. I'm really thankful Apple added this back. The right side houses a headphone jack for those still using wired headphones, and it's nice to have just in case your wireless earbuds or wireless headphones run out of power. 
The MacBook Air M2 has caught up to the MacBook Pro M2 in terms of display quality, and that's a big deal. You get a bright and colorful 13.6-inch panel, 2560 by 1664 pixels, for watching videos, editing photos and everything else you want to do with no trade-offs. While watching the trailer for Minions, The Rise of Gru, I was captivated by the level of detail in little Gru's eyes, hair and scarf as he exploded down the road on a jet-powered bike. Plus, the picture was bright enough that I could enjoy the action from wide viewing angles. The MacBook Air M2's panel impressed in our lab tests as well. It averaged 489 nits of brightness and peaked at 495 nits with HDR content. Things looked just as good in terms of color reproduction and accuracy. The Air M2's display registered 107% of the sRGB color gamut and 75.9% of the more demanding DCI-P3 color space. The MacBook Air M2's four-speaker sound system is pretty good. The best thing I can say about the MacBook Air M2 is that it easily handled my Prime Day deals, which is pretty freaking intense with ease. I was juggling dozens of open tabs in Google Chrome, jumping between lots of Slack messages and the MacBook Air M2 powered through it all with ease. The MacBook Air M2 is one of the longest lasting laptops for the money. On the battery test, which involves continuous web surfing at 150 nits of screen brightness, the new Air averaged 14 hours and 6 minutes. The MacBook Air M2's magic keyboard proved swift and responsive in my testing. The key mechanisms are snappy enough. As per usual, the Air's large touchpad is accurate and makes it easy to perform various gestures, from pinch to zoom to showing all your open apps. I do like having a Touch ID button embedded in the keyboard, which makes logging in easy.